Hello? Hello. Hear you. Okay. Adria? Adria. It's very nice to meet you. My name is Vanessa. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> what did you want to do for your session today? Um, you can talk with me in any with, with any topic. So how was okay, it? So my oh well thank you for asking. You're so nice. Um my day is going pretty good. I've only been at work for two an hour and forty minutes. So I can't complain. It's going okay. How's your day? It was good. It was overall good. I'm having my exams right now, so I'm a bit studying. Oh, you're now. having exams. Yeah, yeah. You what grade are you in right now? I, I'm in eighth. Eighth grade. That's the time. Eighth grade is a great, great grade. Yeah. Yeah. And so you're you're just finishing up for the holidays? Or uh yeah, we're, we're going to get the Christmas holiday, but you know, over here, Christmas, the holiday for Christmas is really small. Like it starts from, it, it's just for one week. Like it starts from Christmas and ends in New Year. New Year. No way. Yeah, it's That's like so different. Week. Yeah, it's quite different than us. We have about two weeks, two and a half weeks off of everything. Yeah, uh, so we have a full winter vacation. Oh, not anymore. I'm not a student anymore, but students do. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So how is Christmas celebration going on there? Well, um, usually what happens is we invite all of our family and we make a big dinner with turkey and pumpkin pie and just all of the Christmas food. And then we get dressed up in like a black dress or a red dress, anything that's Christmas looking. And then we just have this really big family get together and we celebrate Christmas together. Um, our family, we go to church on the 24th on the night. And then for New Year's, we just have this really big, big party yeah sorry i had to scratch my back yeah it's all right i couldn't reach it <laughs> i use do you do you do that too you use a little pen yes yes i do if i yeah. have to, i use a pen <laughs> <laughs> yeah i do that all the time sometimes my hands don't because i worked out yesterday they hurt here so i can't go beyond that so i guess i'll 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 just have to use a little marker today. Yeah. So so what do you do except being a family teacher? I'm a therapist. Ah, I see. Yeah. What do you do besides being a student? <laughs> I, know, I, I have a YouTube channel. So yeah. I post oh, videos. no way. Yeah. What is your YouTube name? It's Lifely Life. Lifely Life. Can you type it for me? Okay, sure. Hey, it's lively life. life. Yeah. So what is your what is your YouTube about? Well, it's about educational videos. I post different educational videos on science, math, English. Yeah. Signs. Yeah. Like, oh, I see. Um, and then there's Clapingo. I guess that's another. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, I have to tell you, I'm probably going to look at your videos after class because yeah. why not? Right? Like, so, it's uh, a must can I upload this video? Can I have a Yeah, video? of course. Yeah, okay. Thanks. No problem. Yeah. Yeah, whatever makes your your YouTube channel grow 100%. I'd love to I'd love Thank to help. So yeah so how did you become a youtube influencer uh well my parents are behind it they told me to start uh, start a youtube channel so i started it in a very small age so yeah i'm doing it right now that's awesome and how old are you i am 14 years you're 14. okay wow 14 and in grade eight i guess i just don't know what 
the ages are and the and the grades uh, how you should be um but that's awesome i think that's a good idea i think it's good to start while you're young and so do you want to work on youtube when you're older or do you want to do something else well that depends how my youtube channel grows if it becomes a successful channel then maybe i will stick to it but um i have i love science a lot so maybe I would I would go in the stream of science if I do anything, whether it is YouTube or something else. Oh, that's awesome. Well, do you consider yourself an influencer then since you have a YouTube channel? Uh, well, not really because <laughs> I don't think I influence people. <laughs> I think in some way or another, you probably influence people, but maybe you are very modest and you don't feel that maybe right now you're making a big yeah. difference. But um, that's wonderful. I think that's so wonderful. I, I'm too shy to become um, a YouTuber, if I'm honest. No. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. I before. Before I started it, I was like, how will I do it? Because I'm like too shy. But now I have gained confidence. And so for you, your first video, was it was it easy to know what to talk about? Or what did you talk about? Well, I, the, my first video, like my first educational video was, it was about digestive system. I, I still remember it. Now I laugh at it, how I'm explaining it, you know. <laughs> I had a board over there and I was teaching digestive system. I was too small, like too young. Um, maybe I was, I don't know, maybe I read in class eight, class three that time. Well, yeah, it was a bit odd. <laughs> it's, um, I do feel like you do have to plan out your your how your videos quite well right yeah. like you want to keep everything fresh so it's you know you have to see you know what should i talk about what should i say what do people want to hear from me it's I a have lot to of pressure like a speech before i'm doing the video oh you prepare it before yeah oh i think that's great i think it's good and and for you especially at such a young age to do something like that like you're quite responsible for being 14 yeah thank you hey, yeah good for you and so what other things do you like to do besides being a youtuber a student and a well, daughter i uh, i love to travel um i love to read books um i love to listen to music yeah these are all um and what kind of music do you like to listen to well i listen to my own um own country's music like bollywood music you know it's quite great and i also listen to english songs um you know i have a friend who loves bollywood really she, <laughs> yes she does like a lot so she um she will watch movies bollywood movies for like hours at a time so one time i called her and i said hey do you want to go get some food and she said i can't i'm finishing my second bollywood movie and i said how many hours have you been watching this and she said i've been watching for eight hours oh my god i said to her that's a lot of hours so she really loves it I love it too. I just don't know that I, 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 I'm not able to spend that many hours watching something. Yeah. Otherwise, I would. I, I can't also spend too many hours seeing this, seeing any type of screen. You know, it hurts my eye. Yeah, yeah. You have to be so, so careful because I have to do it for work. I try not to, um, not to be on screens unless I, I have to. Yeah yeah um and you said you listen to like english music so what kind of art what types of artists do you listen to i i'm i don't I, i'm not that much into other types of songs like um i listen to mostly popular artists like pop of course i listen to ariana grande taylor swift billy eilish ed sharon and there are others that's right they're quite they're quite big right now yeah um i haven't listened to like billy eilish or i don't listen to ariana grande anymore but i used to when i was in university i used to listen to all of those songs and i used to jam out in my car but yeah. nowadays i don't even know what i listen to anymore you um, music? 
I love music. I think music's so beautiful. But I think because I have so many different responsibilities, I don't think about the music I listen to anymore. I just kind of put on. My favorite music is like the news. <laughs> I love to hear what's going on in the world. Um, what's your favorite song? Like, what's a song that you think I should look up? Oh, well, I don't really have that kind of favorite song because um, not even favorite artist because, you know, like I'm like, this is the favorite song. No, no, this has to be the one. So I cannot say a particular song, but yeah, um, yeah I, I listen to so the gen genre is pop, whether it is even in Bollywood or in Hollywood or whatever. Yeah. So I don't have what? a particular type of song. Right, I guess any anything that gets you kind of jamming would be like the song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but what's a song right now that you've listened to a few times that you're like, I definitely recommend that you you listen to this song. Well, um, I have heard a song. I I think you. I guess you've heard it. You know, driver's license. Have you heard the song? Oh my gosh! I think um, it's like it's like um, what's her name? Something Rodrigo. Yeah, yeah, Olivia Rodrigo. Yes, everybody. Um, I think it's like a breakup song. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I um, I actually did hear it um once when it came out because my little cousin she has I think it's called TikTok. Uh yeah, there is a yeah. Talk. Yeah, she I think she has and she was listening to it. So I, I overheard it. And, um, and I was like, it's such a sad song. Yeah, it's, it's quite sad. And I've, I've been like listening to it recently a lot. So yeah, it's a song that I'd recommend. And what's a do you have any like a happy song that you would recommend? A happy song? <laughs> well, happy song. I don't know. I've not been listening to happy songs. I don't know why. I'm not. Depressed. Oh no! <laughs> is is it? But it's nothing. It's it's you just really liking the sad songs right now. That's yeah, it. yeah, right. That's okay. We all go through seasons. Like I remember, um, when I was younger, I would listen to a lot of um, what is like I, I would listen to a lot of like sad songs from I don't know that you would know them, like Kelly Clarkson. Do you know? Yes, yes, friend? I know. I know. Oh, I've good. Heard some of the songs. Yeah, I like. Um, she has really good sad songs. Like I remember, I listened to her sad songs, but no, no particular reason. I think when you're young, you really feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. I I will. I'm going to listen to it today. I haven't listened to it all, so just yeah. because you told me, I will do it. Um. And so what's your, since you have a YouTube channel and since people will be watching this, what's your best advice for those people who are like, I really want to join Cambly, um, but I don't know what it's about and I'm scared to do it. Like what would be your advice to them since well, you're on here anyway? Because, you know, every, every person from beginner to advanced, every person can come here. And, you know, I have all the teachers that have, uh, that I've learned from in Cambly. So they are so nice and they're so kind. And, you know, they, um, they, uh, they're they really good at correcting someone's mistakes. So I would say there is nothing to be scared at because all, all of the teachers are really well. You, there is nothing to be scared at, even if you don't know English, because nobody's going to blame you or anything. That's right. It's a safe platform for you to come and make little errors, even big errors if you'd like to, but there's no judgment. Um, and I like the way that you said everything, you know, every teacher will be very kind to you um, and don't be afraid to come on. And what's the biggest thing you've learned on here? Um, well, I have gained a lot of confidence, I'd say, like um, the, I, I am seeing my first video on Cambly and now, so I have gained a lot of confidence. You've advanced. Yeah. Do you, well, you know, we only have a few seconds left, but I have to tell you, I love your energy. You are so sweet. Okay. Um, I hope that never changes. Continue to have that kindness as you grow older. And your English is amazing. Well, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it was a pleasure to meet you. I was very yeah. lucky to have had class with you today. To me too.
Thanks All right, for we'll that. see you. Bye. Yeah. Not a problem. We'll see you again. I hope. Yeah, of course. All right. Bye bye. Bye.